Hi everyone. Ah,、uh, how are you there? I hope everything is fine there. Yeah, as usual because I'm here, also fine.、Uh, today I would like to give a lecture right, on English drama.、Mm, this is about the questions for response paper. So response paper is actually a writing activity in a literary class, yeah, in in the class of literature,、uh, especially in English drama subject, right, that you have in the university, in college, or maybe in some high schools.、Um, today I would like to、uh, give my lecture based on this, based on this book. Okay, the book is. The Northern Introduction to Literature by Kelly J. Mays in the year of two thousand and seven, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see.、Uh, yep, it's two thousand and seventeen. Yeah, two thousand and seventeen. Um, here I would like to explain a little about the reading notes or the questions that we need to answer to write. A response paper or a literary analysis. If we want to write, if we want to analyze, if we want, if we want to discuss about English drama. Okay, in this case is、uh, it, it takes、uh, from this book, right? It takes the sample writing from the drama entitled Trivials here. But actually, the questions can also work for different. Uh, discussion, different writing, yeah.、Uh, okay, here we go. First, about expectations.、Uh, the question is, does the title suggest anything? So, if we want to write an essay, if we want to write a response paper, right? If we want to analyze a drama, we need to consider this.、Uh, does the title suggest anything? Because the title in drama, right? The title in play. Usually means something. I give you example.、Uh, let's try to use this drama, "A Streetcar Named Desire" by Tennessee Williams. It's one of the famous plays, right? "A Streetcar Named Desire."、Uh, it, it, the title itself raises a question for us, right? Does it mean something before we read, before we analyze deeper? "Streetcar Named Desire." What? What does、uh, the title attach to? Right. What the meaning? What meaning is attached to the title here?、Uh, for example, like this one. Whether it sounds like a comedy, right? For for example, in the、uh, the title itself, "Trivials," right? The trivial is something trivial, but it might be ironic. So it can also work the same, right? A true common desire, desire can also mean a tragedy because it's the word desire here, right? And a street car is a tram, something like that. So maybe something to do with the journey, you know. Before we go deeper,、uh, at least we can try to analyze from the very beginning.、Uh, next,、uh, this one is important, of course. Characterization. Characterization means. The characters, right, inside of the drama or, or the play, right,、uh, but it also refer to their traits, their characteristics, maybe something to do with their jobs,、uh, or occupation,、uh, their status, whether in social status, and, and what is their role, something like that. The same happens to with this drama. By Tennessee Williams. Here, we have very famous characters. We have here, right,、uh, the Negro woman, Eunice Hubble, Stanley Kowalski, Stella Kowalski, Steve Hubble, Harold Mitchell or Mitch, and the Mexican woman Blanche Dubois, Pablo Gonzalez, and a young collector and nurse, and, and nurse and doctor. So we cannot. We we don't just mention them, but we have to explain them. What kind of characters are they, right?、Uh, Blanche, Stella. Who is Blanche? Who is Stella?、Uh, and then what about their characterization? 
uh, everything should be mentioned by referring to the proof or uh, evidence taken from the drama from the drama text or what we call as the quotation right here who are the characters what are they like so uh, the physical appearance the physical description and then about the traits psychological uh, what we call the psychological condition or, or, or state right and usually it is written there we'll, we, we can see okay just just find an example here right here we have uh, let's see let's see let's see here we go two men come around the corner Stanley Kowalski and Mitch they are about 28 or 30 years so this is the basic description uh, and then roughly dressed in blue denim work clothes Stanley carries his bowling jacket and red stained package from a batches so it's made like a red stained package it's like dirty package from from the, the butcher so uh, okay consider some some kind of meat right and then uh, they, they look pretty dirty and and mainly maybe like like macho or something like that right is there a protagonist, antagonist, or other types? And then, uh, not not only about the uh, description that we can find there, but we can also make more evaluation, more interpretation by checking the names. All right, names uh, in drama, especially, usually give uh, a symbolical meaning behind it. For example, again, we have Blanche Dubois here, right? Blanche Dubois here. Uh, it's a French, actually. It's a French. We can see from here. See? So I have prepared there. Blanche Dubois. Dubois is a family name. Blanche means white, but Dubois itself means also wood. So white wood. So probably this must be something there, right? Must be. Uh, something that we can dig right something that we can figure out more about the name itself probably there is something to do or there's a connection between the name and the characterization of the characters themselves all right and then else number and then ah, okay next one is plot plot is also important what happens are there scene changes and then how is exposition handled uh, what events mark the rising action and then what is the climax and what is the resolution so we have some keywords like resolution climax and then rising action and then exposition and so on okay so we need to recall a little about the plot that's why we have this this is what we call as plot the structure or organize organization of events that make up a fictional story we have the exposition here this is the beginning of the story uh, usually it gives or, or it, it delivers the introduction of the characters and then the setting and then the, the initial conflict happens so that it can create the, the whole story next we have the rising action rising action uh, events before the climax characters attempt to solve the problem but fails that's why we have climax because after rising uh, after rising action um, this is a start uh, for the climax it's the turning point the point of greater suspense or action that makes a uh, little work um, interesting then we have the falling action here is action and events that occur after the climax and the last one is resolution end of the story where the conflicts or problems are solved so this is part of the main part of what we call as the plot hmm. here right and then uh, next is setting it's about setting the question about setting when does the action occur where does the action occur what is the atmosphere are the scene changes and, and, and so on here we have for example like the time setting and then place setting 
uh, is usually um, how do we call it yeah uh, it's already there it's also prepared by the uh, uh, by the what drama dramatist uh, not dramatist but the uh, playwright playwright or the writer of the drama so we can see from here for example of the that we take from the scene one right the, from the very beginning of the street kind of desire here see the exterior of two-story corner building on a street in New Orleans so this is the place right which is named Elysian fields and runs between the island and tracks and the river the section is poor but and so on and so on and so on it is the first stop on evening early in May this is another setting right place set uh, I'm sorry time setting so it's part of the uh, part of the elements that helps the reader or the audience if we have the uh, stage performance right to understand the situation or condition uh, well yeah and then the setting and what is the atmosphere the freezing weather weather reflects the feeling of the play so from the atmosphere we can also understand about the uh, the same like the, the condition uh, the, the situation which is built right here we have here actually mm, you see it first okay it is first dark of an evening early in May the sky that shows around the dim white building is peculiarly tender blue all right tender blue so the play of colors the use of the colors right for example like blue black gray green or, or, or light something like that uh, gives the reader a particular kind of atmosphere see we have which invests the scene uh, with a kind of lyricism and gracefully attenuates the atmosphere of decay All right see it's pretty detailed here so that we can uh, explain in explain more right or interpret and evaluate more to explain about the atmosphere of the drama okay and then style tone imagery what is the style of the dialogue uh, whether it is just the daily uh, language or like uh, more poetical like the old one like the classic uh, drama victorian drama right and then how do nonverbal gestures and actions convey meaning do any of the props seem to have symbolic meaning of course right here also let's go back right let's go back to this uh, we can see that maybe the style hey there Stella baby bellowing Stella comes out the first floor landing a gentle young woman about 25 this is not a description yeah and of a background obviously quite different from her husband's don't holler at me like that hi Mitch so see don't holler at me like that so this is maybe the way um, Stanley used the language uh, the way Stanley talks right the style of the language maybe like or how do we call it rough right or a little bit wild uh, that kind of thing okay mm, and then the the next one is theme what is the theme of the play uh, theme of the play it depends on uh, our result after reading the drama uh, as long as we can grasp the point of the drama right the atmosphere and all of this kind of those kinds of elements that we have discussed right and then after that we can make uh, uh, the theme we can write the theme using phrase like this one the cage songbird or murder in the Midwest or, or something that can cover the point or the topic or the theme of the drama 
All right. So basically, writing an essay about drama, uh, yeah, like writing about fiction or poetry, the the point is that it can sharpen our responses after reading the the, the literary work. In this case, is drama, right? It can help us also uh, to know more about aspects of the world that probably other readers may have missed so we can discuss in detail discuss more in detail about the drama about the use of the language what happened there and then the symbols right the symbols that we can find here uh, it, it, it's basically a detailed evaluation and interpretation toward a literary work so by writing it down right in a very structural way by answering all of the questions in uh, response to the drama it means that uh, we have read uh, the literary work well okay everybody then thank you very much for your attention don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next content see you i'm out